What's going on guys? If you are new to the channel, my name is Trapper Goldsmith. I run a financial brokerage under the World Financial Group umbrella and I specialize in athlete portfolios. Why? Because my background is professional sport. I was a carded golf professional for almost a decade. Transitioned from that after health issues into entrepreneurship, business ownership where I have been a business owner slash entrepreneur for almost 10 years. Uh, and now with the World Financial Group as an advisor for a little over three years. And I continue to bring value for my followers, my subscribers, my clients, my potential clients, and everyday viewers of the channel. So welcome. Today, we're gonna discuss how to best utilize a financial advisor. You've gone through, you've sat with a financial advisor, you've worked out your portfolio, you have a plan in place. But where do you go from here? What are the next steps and how do you best utilize this professional that you've decided to work with and trust your money, trust your financial future with? How do you best utilize him to your advantage and work together to achieve ultimately your goals? If we look at you as the CEO, well then, your financial advisor is the CFO, the chief financial officer, who's helping you along with the financial side. So today you're gonna get some insight, how to best utilize your financial advisor, five best ways to maximize and feel comfortable with your financial advisor and your financial plan. So here we go, let's get into it. Number one is ask questions. Never be afraid to ask questions, too often, we put our trust in other people, especially professionals, whether it's doctors, lawyers, financial advisors, and we forget to ask questions. I know one thing my wife is really good at is asking questions. That's why she comes along a lot of the time because she'll criticize me. Trapper, you don't ask enough questions. And how we get to know someone, how we better understand our plan is, is to ask questions. So regardless, never feel embarrassed, never feel intimidated by a financial advisor that you don't know, never be scared to ask questions. If you're in a situation where an advisor makes you feel intimidated, makes you feel kind of embarrassed about how much you actually know about your money or your financial plan, probably that's maybe not a good, the best fit for someone that you're gonna work with long term. It should make you feel comfortable. They should be open to you asking questions. I always encourage my clients to ask me as many questions as possible. That's why they have direct access to me at any time. All my clients get my personal cell phone, my personal email, uh, so they have those channels to communicate with me and ask questions. Some of my best clients actually send me videos, TikTok videos, Instagram reels, uh, of financial advice or financial channels that they've come across and ask me what my opinion is on the video or on uh, the concepts that those videos are talking about. And that's a great way to, to build a relationship with your advisor, get their opinion, because they're the one you're working with. Uh, and a lot of the times it just helps you better understand your portfolio. Number two, I would say, is have your plan simplified so you understand it. Do you need to know all the ins and outs of the, the financial industry? No, no one wants to know that and as well you should. That's why I hire a doctor, that's why I hire a lawyer, that's why I hire an electrician for my electrical. I don't wanna know how everything works in my vehicle if I'm getting my truck worked on, but I do wanna understand the basic concepts, why we're doing a certain strategy or why we're doing this. So be able to understand your plan to a point where you feel comfortable with it. It should be simplified. If you have an advisor that's using a lot of complicated financial terms or scenarios or graphs or charts that you don't understand, say so, ask him to simplify it. It's, I had a client actually, I had a client ask, tell me, when we were doing our initial interview and sitting down with them, and she said, Trapper, I'm gonna stop you. I need you to explain it to me like I'm in the third grade. And for me, that was a aha moment. It, it really helped me understand, okay, I need to simplify this so my client understands it. And a lot of the times, financial principles are, can be complicated and, and markets and uh, investing and, and tax shelters, all of that can be confusing, but 
a proper advisor will break it down so you understand and take that time. So never feel uncomfortable about asking to, to better understand a concept. That that's what we're here for, to help you better understand your plan and the strategy moving forward. So always get the plan simplified uh, to a, a degree that you understand and feel comfortable with it. Number two is constant communication. Now this might seem a no brainer. Uh, a lot of the times I'll sit down with new clients or potential clients and uh, their old advisor asks them when they last heard from their advisor and it's been well over a year, sometimes even multiple years. And being in constant communication is the best way to build a relationship, best way to build trust. Any relationship, my marriage would quickly uh, fall apart if I did not constantly communicate with my wife. And it's the same way when I have a client advisor relationship as well. I always want to stay in constant communication. And nowadays, there's more ways to communicate than ever before, whether it's text, it's email, it's a phone call, it's through uh, social channels, whatever way, it's easier than ever to communicate. So don't always rely on your advisor to, to communicate with you. Yes, it, it should be a two-way street, but um, somehow always, always be in constant communication. Like I said, all my clients have my personal cell phone and, and they know even if it's off hours or on a weekend, they can send me a text and, and they're still gonna get a reply from me. That's having that constant communication, again, builds trust um, and, and knows that you can rely on your financial advisor when you need them or when you have concerns or when you have questions, especially when markets are very volatile, um, you're a little discouraged about how your, your money is growing or you don't fully understand something that's happening. Or quarterly statement that you don't fully understand, reach out to them. Be in constant communication because the more you commu communicate with them, the more you're comfortable you're gonna feel uh, working with that advisor. Number three, this is kind of goes back to asking questions. Never feel shy about asking how an advisor gets paid. How do they earn their commission? Now, if you sense that an advisor kind of gets shy or doesn't want to fully go into their compensation plan, that's probably a little bit of a, a red flag. We should be fully transparent with you how we get paid, just like when you go in to get your car worked on. A uh, mechanic should be fully transparent in all the charges that you'll see when they do a quote for you. And it's no different for us. I can fully explain to my clients how I get compensated for the plans um, on the back end how I'm earning my, my commission and be able to answer that fully to the client and be completely transparent about that. Again, that's just building trust. Uh, the biggest thing is with, with clients is that you wanna, you wanna build trust. It's a, a tr very trust relationship. It's not uh, just a car or, or getting your uh, electric uh, heater worked on or, or something like that. It's, it's your money, it's your financial future and you should best uh, be able to communicate how your advisor is getting compensated for that. That's just being transparent and building trust. So never be shy, shy away from asking how uh, a financial advisor is getting compensated for the plan they put in place for you. The last one I'm gonna talk about here to maximize how you're using your financial advisor is follow their social channels. Almost everybody out there now is on some type of social media. And a lot of the times, whether it's YouTube, Instagram, TikTok now, uh, uh, Facebook, all of these social channels, you can get a lot of resources from your financial advisor from them. As you can see from my YouTube channel, I'm getting more and more content put out to my clients, potential clients, and overall uh, subscribers that follow the channel to get the most value that I can give in, in the public. The other thing also when you're following their social media channels is uh, you might you might learn things or think of uh, a question that you hadn't thought to ask and you'll learn that through following their their social media so it can be a great strategy to learn more uh, but also kind of build that relationship with your advisor and get some great resources training uh, better understanding maybe there's something explained in one of my videos on YouTube here that uh, we didn't cover in our um, initial sit down and you get a better understanding. Sometimes it's easier to learn when we can watch something on our own 
uh, rather than in the pressure of, of sitting with someone or in person or over Zoom. So uh, make sure to, to follow their social channels and continue to get any of the information you need from there. It's a great tool and resource for you to uh, stay connected with your advisor and continue to better understand your portfolio. So hopefully you've gotten some value from this video. If you're a current client um, and you've made it this far, hopefully we can continue to implement these processes that I'd like to uh, work with and, and talk about with all of my clients. If you're a potential client, um, you can reach out to me through any of my social channels. You can subscribe, hit the subscribe button on this channel and continue to follow me and, and get value, I hope, from this channel as I continue to put out more content. I hope in some way these tips or, or ways to maximize your advisor have helped and uh, I wish you the best and luck in luck in finding an advisor and the right fit for you. Thanks for watching everyone. If you liked the video, you got some value from it, number one, hit the subscribe button. And two, check out this next video because I know you're going to get some value from that.